Dear son, it's Nathan, and it's time for episode two of our series about the right of way. How much excitement can you stand? About that much. Today we're going to discuss rule number one of the right of way. This is the most important rule of the right of way, no matter where you drive on earth. If you do not understand this rule, please take your driver's license, go to the nearest police office, and give it back. Just give it back. Rule number one is, the right-of-way belongs to the emergency vehicle with their lights flashing. An emergency vehicle is police, fire, ambulance, sometimes military. An emergency vehicle is not. Tow trucks, construction, public services. They might have flashing lights, but... They do not automatically have the right of way when they turn them on. Not like an emergency vehicle. Let's talk about why that's different. So now that I don't actually have to take a driver's test in the foreseeable future, I really want to write down on a piece of paper the question, who has the right of way in this situation? The emergency vehicle with their lights flashing. Because it's true if that is that situation. For example, Two vehicles come to a four-way stop. Who has the right-of-way? The emergency vehicle with their lights flashing. Are they one of the two vehicles that's stopping? No. They're going straight through. They have the right-of-way. Oh, well, there you go then. Someone is driving backwards down a one-way street. Who has the right-of-way? Well, if the person driving backwards is an emergency vehicle with their lights flashing, they do. It doesn't matter the situation. So let's talk about the implications here. Obviously, if you're in an accident with an emergency vehicle and their lights were flashing, you are in the wrong and you are on the hook for the damages. That's bad, but it gets worse because emergency vehicles have special ways of dealing with vehicles who are in their way. Police cars have this fun little law called obstructing a police officer in the, in the pursuit of his duty. And basically that means that if you're in an accident with a police officer and you stop him from doing his job, you've actually committed a crime. And a fairly serious crime. With, you know, jail time and stuff. That's bad. My personal favorite, of course, is fire trucks. Take a look at the next fire truck you see. Pay special attention to the bumper. That thing is not made to cushion blows. It is made to shove your vehicle away from fire hydrants if necessary, by turning it into a small pile of scrap metal. It's a vicious bumper. And they have no problem whatsoever destroying your vehicle in order to save lives and protect property. That's not your vehicle, because it was in the way. That being said, if it catches fire, they will put it out. Now, ambulances... I don't think they really do anything super vicious to people if they're in their way, but you should still avoid it because, one, they're good friends with police and fire trucks, and two, saving lives. Write something downstairs. Let me know what you think the other two rules of the Red Way are going to be. We're going to do these videos bang, 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 four of them. Whew. It's going to be awesome. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and of course, Enjoy Paper Airplane Day.